We're going to send things over though to meteorologist Blake Hansen. Blake, these temperatures in the 80s, of course, unseasonably warm right now, and that trend expected to continue into the fall. That is right, Sam, and we've been seeing that really over the last several decades. And when you look at data just uh, from a standpoint of 1970, it's pretty clear the trend over the last 50 plus years that each and every season is getting warmer, and that also includes fall. On average here in the greater Grand Rapids area, we are trending nearly three degrees warmer than average compared to 1970. That is a substantial amount. Now, when we talk about fall, we are talking between September 1st and November 30th, what is classified as meteorological fall. So there it is. You can see that the line trending uh, higher and higher, at least warmer and warmer, I should say. And that's what equates to about 13 days, a baker's dozen worth of above average days in the months of fall. So September, October and November. And a large part of that comes for our overnight lows. Our overnight lows are trending a lot warmer, not just in fall, but each and every season. And that adds up. And over the last two weeks, yeah, we've been seesawing a bit back and forth between above average and below average temperatures. Nothing out of the ordinary there, but there is a big trend and Sam had just mentioned it that we could see a extended stretch of above average temperatures for September standards. And one other thing is that we've been lacking rainfall really over the last six weeks now. Many people have uh, chimed into us saying yeah, I need some rain in my backyard. We do not have much of that on the way. In fact, the extended outlook from a precipitation standpoint indicates that we'll likely trend a bit below average in the way of rainfall. And if this tropical system that will become a hurricane does not make it into the Great Lakes region, at least it's uh, remnants over the course of the next few days. We could be looking at another stretch of warm, dry conditions, which could impact our fall colors as we head towards the end of the month into October.